Hello and welcome to Primary today. We are here at the church to share a few minutes with you. We are the State Primary Presidency. I am Sister Goff, Sister Pearson, Sister Britton, and Sister Munson. We are going to head down to the primary room and share a sweet message with you. Come on in and join us. This year, we are learning from the book of scripture called The Doctrine and Covenants. In this book, we learn about the restoration of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The word restoration is a big word and I would like to talk about it. The word restoration means the action of returning something to its former condition. Some of you may have heard of people restoring an old car or an old piece of furniture and making it how it used to be when it was new. When we talk about the restoration of the church, it is the same idea as the old car or the old piece of furniture. There was a time when the church of Jesus Christ was not on the earth, and that is why there was a restoration or the returning of the church to its former condition. I'm going to tell you a short version of the beginning of the restoration of the Church of Jesus Christ. While I tell you about this, I'm going to put some words and pictures on the board, and I want you to think about why these words are so important. It all began with a boy named Joseph Smith. When he was 14 years old, he had a question. He was living on his family's farm in Palmyra, New York. In the town where he lived, there was a great deal of excitement about religion. There were many preachers from many different churches. Each said that he had the truth and tried to convince people to join his church. Joseph wondered which of the churches he should join. He asked himself, what is to be done? Who of all these parties are right, or are they all wrong together? If any one of them be right, which is it? And how shall I know it? One day, Joseph read in the Bible, in the book of James, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Joseph thought about the words he had read from the Bible, and decided to do what the scripture said. He decided to ask Heavenly Father which church was right, so that he would know which one he should join. Joseph had never prayed out loud before. He decided to go to a grove of trees near his home to ask Heavenly Father his question. On a beautiful spring morning, he walked into the grove, looked around to be sure that he was alone, and knelt in prayer. As he began his prayer, a terrible feeling of darkness surrounded him. It was so strong that he thought he was going to be destroyed. He prayed with all his heart to Heavenly Father for help. At that moment, a pillar of light appeared over his head and came down and rested upon him. The darkness left him and he saw two heavenly beings standing above him in the air. One spoke to him saying, Joseph, this is my beloved son, hear him. The two heavenly beings were Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. The Savior told Joseph that he should not join any of the churches because they were all wrong. Joseph had the answer to his question. Later, he received visits from other heavenly messengers and learned what Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ wanted him to do to help restore the gospel to the earth. He followed their directions. So let's look at the words that are on the board. The first word is search. The first thing Joseph did was turn to the word of God found in the Bible. We can also find answers and directions from our Heavenly Father in the scriptures. The next word is ponder. To ponder means to take time to be still and quiet while we think carefully about the things that we want to know. When Joseph pondered, he thought about the words that he read from the Bible and thought about what to do next. Sometimes this is when the Holy Spirit will communicate with us. And the last one is pray. After searching and pondering, Joseph found a place where he was alone and prayed to Heavenly Father. 
Each of these actions are very important to the restoration of the Church of Jesus Christ. When Joseph had a question, he searched, he pondered, and he prayed to find the answer. I know that you and I can follow the example of our prophet, Joseph Smith, and also find answers by searching the scriptures, taking time to ponder, and praying to our Heavenly Father. When we do these things, I know we will be blessed and also feel the love of our Heavenly Father and Savior. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Each time I hear that song, I'm so blessed to feel the Holy Spirit. And every time I do, I know the scriptures are true. When I open my scriptures and I search and I ponder and I pray, I can hear my Heavenly Father speak to me. I'm so grateful that we have this song and we get to teach it to you today over Zoom. So welcome again to Primary as we teach you this beautiful song. Join us. Gather your family around. Gather your brothers and sisters. Stand up in your chairs if you want. We're going to teach you some actions in just a second. But get your singing voices on, and here we go. with you. Maybe you can guess what some of the actions are as we have Sister Kelsey come and teach us the sign language. Watch close. Here she comes. recognize some of those signs. Kelsey, do you want to tell us a little bit about sure. what those signs mean? So the first sign that we learn is search. Kind of like you've got a pair of binoculars. Mm -hmm. You're going to search. Search your scriptures. Okay. Search. What was ponder? Ponder. Ooh, do so that you're again. You're going to have a thought, but you're going to bring it and you're going to let it sit there and think about it. Really think about what 
you feel in your heart and what the Spirit's telling you. Okay, so let's do search. Search with your binoculars. Ponder. Ponder. And pray. Pray. Just like you would if you were praying really hard to the Heavenly Father, you're going to have your hands together and you're going to talk to Him. Okay, so those are our main words. Search, ponder, and pray. There were some other things you did. Mm -hmm. What were they? So these are the things. We have lots of things that we have to remember. So you're going to have them all listed out here and you're going to point to them. These are the things that I must It's like you're planting a seed. Do. Do. You're going to go out and do stuff. Okay? Get busy, guys. Next one's a little bit tricky. We're going to say the Holy Spirit. So think of like a ghost. You're drawing the ghost coming up. Holy Spirit. Let me see if I've got it right, Kelsey. So you take this H mm -hmm. this way. Yep. And Bring it back. Swipe it back and wipe it out. Spirit. Okay. So Holy Spirit. Thank you. The Spirit will guide. He's going to take like you by one. the hand and he's going to guide you to help you through it. The Holy Spirit will guide. Thank you. Okay. And then deep inside, in your heart, we're really going to feel the Holy Spirit in our hearts. I'll know. We've got knowledge in our heads up here, right? And then scriptures. You can have your C. Why Just C? Just like a book. I don't know. Okay, C. Our scriptures are true. Okay, want to run through it one more yeah. time? Yeah. Yeah. Search, Search, ponder, and, and pray. pray. These are the things, things that I must do. Remember, Holy Spirit will guide, and deep, deep inside, inside, I'll know the scriptures. scriptures are true. true. Wow, we did it, guys. Should we sing it again? Do you want to just do, let's do it from the chorus at search. If you'll give us the first note, please, Sister God. Let me search. Oh, yeah, and we'll go slow. Search, ponder, and play. What is that search note for us? Search. Okay, here we go. Practice all those different signs <laughs> that you know now. Let's do it one more time with Kelsey here from the beginning, okay? Here we go. First note, Sister Goff, please. Just at the, the I love to <laughs> Okay. I love to read the Holy Scriptures.
since I've got you here on film. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that because I've done a lot of searching, pondering, and praying myself. I served a mission actually with deaf people who can't hear. Mm -hmm. So we spent a lot of time teaching them how to search, how to ponder, and how to pray. Mm -hmm. Because those are the most important things that you can do to know your Heavenly Father better and to know better that He loves you mm -hmm. and that He is taking care for you. Thank you. That's beautiful, and those are the things that we all need to do. And that as we search, ponder, and pray like Joseph Smith did in the story, that we can come to know the scriptures are too. And we leave this in the name of Jesus Christ. But we have one more special thing before we're done, so hang in there with us. In closing, I just want to bear you my testimony. That I love the scriptures, and I know that they are true. Reading them makes me happy. And just like Joseph Smith, we can get answers to our questions if we read the scriptures and pray earnestly to our Heavenly Father. We love you also very much, as does your Heavenly Father and Jesus. They love you so much. Make sure that you search and ponder and pray, and you will feel their love each day. We hope that you feel our love and your Heavenly Father's love, even though we're far apart, we still love you and miss you and hope that we can be together again soon. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.